Alright, so we're going to continue with um, the third part, which is preparation by elimination reaction. So in order to prepare our uh, alkene to have carbon-carbon double bond, we must perform elimination. So elimination must be bond something lah. So you will be removing two atoms or substituents of adjacent carbons, carbons that are next to each other. Like in this general um sorry general equation right here these two carbons are next to each other and we are going to remove x y let's say and we will get our alkene carbon carbon double bond and our byproduct x y so the name the names of our elimination reaction uh, there are two for alkene we have dehydration of alcohol that means that we are going to remove um the water molecule from our alcohol so we will get water as our byproduct okay so what is important is that we need to know the region and condition in order to perform this um, reaction. Okay? So we are going to be using concentrated sulfuric acid um, heated. Okay? So our punya region atas arrow, your condition will be bawah arrow. Okay? Biasakan tulis macam tu. So this one is uh, we can use, we can also use concentrated phosphoric acid. Uh, well heated okay so another uh, elimination reaction is dehydro dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halides so you have alkyl halides your alkene tapi ada um, halogen okay so you're going to remove your hx in order to get your alkene so the reasons that we can use are any of these four so potassium hydroxide in ethanol, ETOH atau sodium hydroxide in ethanol and sodium ethoxide and so on so many okay boleh guna any of these. Um one pro tip for organic chemistry is that when we have um an alkyl halide as our reactant okay you must have reflux as your condition. So this is alkyl halide asal ada alkyl halide je Okay, you must have your reflux as your um, condition. Okay, bawa arrow. Okay, so that is required uh, in any alkali like reactions lah. So let's look deeper here into our um, first reaction. We have dehydration of alcohol. Okay, so alcohol will have an alkyl group and an OH um, functional group. Okay. So let's say if you have two propanol and you want to remove OH and H. So let's look for our OH first. So here and then we have this H. H, H, H that you can remove. Okay, daripada carbon yang sebelah dia. Alright, so let's say if I remove um, this hydrogen and OH okay, in the presence of this reagent sulfuric acid and well heated then we will get our carbon carbon double bond between these two carbons so right here and our byproduct water so in this case even if you remove this hydrogen okay you will still get a propene molecule sebab this molecule uh, this alcohol is has uh, the same uh, hydrogen primary hydrogen lah next to it okay so how about if we dehydrate two butanol okay so two butanol looks like this so if we look here our OH is right here so that means that we can either remove this H okay from this carbon or hydrogen from this carbon okay all right so bergantung pada which hydrogen we remove um, the double bond will be at different position lah. So if we remove these two, then the, it will be here. If we remo we remove these two, it will be here. So that means that you will get more than one possible product. Okay. So when you have more than one possible product, that means that one of them will be a major product and the other will be a minor. But how do we know which one will be our major and which one will be our minor? So here comes Cezaf's rule. Okay, so you are going to use Cezaf's rule in order to um, predict which product will be the major product, the more stable product. So 
According to Cesar's rule, major product is the more highly substituted alkene bonded directly to more alkyl groups. It is more stable, so dia lebih banyak form. Okay, dia jadi major product. Yang mana ni maksudnya dia less stable lah. So that means that it will um not you will not form a lot of this. Okay. So that means that first in order to know which product is major, awak keluarkan semua possible products awak. So ni so kita tengok carbon-carbon double bond kita. So right here our carbon carbon double bond in this product we have one two alkyl groups. Okay, two alkyl groups. Well, here we have, kat sini tak ada alkyl groups, but here we have one alkyl group. Okay, so between these two, okay, this one has two alkyl groups. That means more. That means this will be our major product lah, according to Cezaf's rule. Okay, that's how you determine. Alright, so next, let's say if we have the, uh, for dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halides reaction, Okay, alkyl halides is when you have an R group and you have your halogen attached to your R group. Okay, so here we have our 1, 2, 2 bromo propane. Okay, reacting with KOH. Okay, this one is our reagent untuk dehydrohalogenation lah. So, it, this one, kena, awak, awak kena tulis plus KOH. Okay. Yang ni, it will be our solvent, ethanol. Our condition is reflux. Okay. So, right now, um, sama macam tadi, awak boleh remove these two atau these two. Sama je awak punya product. Alright. So, this is our product. We will get a double bond here and your byproduct is HBr. Awak bond hydrogen dengan halogen awak. Dehydrohalogenation. Okay. So let's say if we have um, this kind, just the same macam tadi, okay, awak ada two different um, hydrogens that you can remove. So this one is a primary hydrogen, while this one is a secondary hydrogen, okay. So depending on which hydrogen we remove, we will get um, more than one possible product lah, okay. So ni saya dah tulis, ini major product and this one is minor product. So, we are using Cezaf's rule in order to determine which one is the major. So, this one here, you have one and two alkyl groups attached to this carbon. Alright. While here, you don't have any alkyl groups here, but you have one here. So, that makes this one the minor product. And here, you have your HCl. Alright. So, that's for preparations. Ada dua je reaction. Okay.